a variable is used to temporarily store information in the game. For instance, you may want to store what a player's username is or how many points they have. There are lots of uses for variables. Now to make a variable, we first need to think of a name. In this case, let's say I want to store my favorite number. So I'm going to type favorite number. And that's all I need for the name. But a variable name on its own is not going to do much. I want to put something into this variable. And to do this, I'm going to use the equal sign. This says that I want to save something into the thing on the left. And the thing I want to save is, let's say I want to save the number 7. And this is going to go on the right hand side of the equal sign. If I hit enter, we'll see that nothing really happened in the output. But what's going on internally is that now 7 has been saved into the variable called favorite number. If you remember from the last video, we used the print function to print out values. So let's see what happens when we print out favorite number. We can see that it prints out 7, the value that was stored into it. If we change what was stored into favorite number, let's say we store the number 5, we print it out again, we'll see that the new value shows up. Now keep in mind variables can store anything, they don't have to be numbers. We can save something else in favorite number. Let's say we save the string 5, spelled out F-I-V-E. Now if we print that out, it'll print out the string 5. And just like when we use the print function, if we want to save a word or a phrase, we have to use quotation marks around the value that we're saving. If we're saving something else, again like a number, we don't need to use quotations.